decorative glass objects can be blown or thermoformed, two very different glassmaking techniques. In glass blowing, the artisan shapes hot glass by rolling it and blowing air into it. Thermoforming is more of a molding process, better suited for making flat objects. When you look at these magnificent pieces, it's hard to believe they begin as run-of-the-mill window glass. It comes in ready-made panels in thicknesses ranging from 3 to 10 millimeters. The first step is to measure the overall dimensions of the glass panel, then divide it into pieces, each slightly larger than the object it will become. They'll turn this panel into large decorative plates, so they divide it into three squares, each about 35 centimeters in diameter. They place each square over a paper pattern. Using a glass cutter, they score the shape of the plate. Then they apply pressure with a rubber mallet to separate the glass along the score line. They cut away the excess, breaking it off with a few gentle taps. Now they position the plate-shaped glass over a drawing and begin the artwork. First, tracing the outline. Now they embellish the design and fill in the details. They use enamel paints specifically designed for painting on glass. Once the brushwork's done, they use a paint gun to apply the background colors and shading. The glass has been cut and decorated, but it's still perfectly flat. So the final step is to mold it using extreme heat, hence the term thermoformed. The mold they use is made of fireproof materials designed to withstand high temperatures inside the oven, known as a kiln. They carefully lay the glass over the mold. They mold several different pieces at the same time. In the intense heat of the kiln, the glass will melt and take on the exact shape of the mold, right down to the most intricate textural detail. These small pieces of glass will become the paint pots on this glass replica of an artist's palette. It takes an hour and a half for the kiln temperature to climb to a scorching 843 degrees Celsius. At peak temperature, they open up briefly to make sure that everything is progressing well. The glass at this phase should be the consistency of maple taffy and glowing bright red. If it is, they can close the kiln and begin the cooling phase. Six hours later, the glass pieces have hardened into the shape and texture of their respective molds. These plates and spoon rests and other pieces are cool enough now to come out of the kiln. The beauty of thermoformed glass lies in the striking combination of transparency and vibrant color. Add to that the endless shape possibilities and you've got truly functional art.